What's up wine friends? We're back for grocery store haul part two. And if you want to know exactly what my second list of grocery store favorites are, then you definitely want to keep watching this video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Shayla Bernardo, host of Black Girls Wine TV and founder of Black Girls Wine and the Black Girls Wine Society. Thanks for joining me. Can't wait to share with you what I've been sipping when I go pick up my groceries. Before we get too far into this grocery store haul, I am currently sipping a grocery store pickup. This one is McBride Sisters. This is a red blend. Um, it is super delicious and I'll tell you, let me see. The ABV on this, because I feel like that's one of the most popular questions I get, is 14%. And the blend for this is actually Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. You, it's, I'm just, this one I fell in love with when I tasted it the first time earlier this year. And the fact that it is from the grocery store makes it seem like luxury in a bottle. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's a red blend that honestly, it's a crowd pleaser. And if you serve it chilled, I think even your newbie wine lovers who sometimes enjoy sweeter things might just enjoy this. Listen. You've got to start somewhere, and I think this is one of the good bottles to start with. All right, so we're just gonna dive straight in to this grocery store haul. Top of my list is Kendall Jackson Reserve Chardonnay. I had the pleasure of attending a Chardonnay tasting earlier this year, and I tasted three Chardonnays side by side, all of which were actually grocery store pickups, but this one is the one that stood out to me the most. I really enjoyed it, um, and I think that if you're a Chardonnay lover, this is one worth trying. It wasn't super, super um, buttery like sometimes California Chardonnays can be, um, but there was a richness to it that was kind of unforgettable because I'm still thinking about it and that tasting was months ago. So definitely add that to your list if you like Chardonnay. So next up on my list is the California Chandon California Brute Sparkling Wine. I had this, I think at like a brunch or something like that. And honestly, I was really impressed with it, really liked it. And I think this is definitely one to add for grocery store pickup. Um, it's not super expensive and if you are entertaining, it's also a good one that you can share with family and friends if you're celebrating something and you want something that's budget friendly and still gonna be tasty. If you're a Riesling lover, Hive and, hun Hive and Honey makes a really good Riesling. I think that this is one of those Rieslings that catches you by surprise if you expect it to be sweet. They do make a sweet version of this, the sweet Riesling, that's also in the grocery store. But I like the Hive and Honey regular Riesling, the one that is just a beautiful glass of white, or a beautiful white wine in a glass. Um, I think it's worth trying if you're a Riesling lover, just kind of exploring Rieslings. And especially if you taste, do a side-by-side -side tasting and you taste the sweet Riesling right next to it. That might be a fun thing to put together kind of a girls night, something like that, if you're doing a Riesling tasting. If you wanna do a Riesling tasting together, that's a tongue twister. You try saying it three times. Riesling tasting, Riesling tasting, Riesling tasting. All right, so next up on this list is Mum Napa Brut Rosé. Mum Napa, household favorite, great Brut Rosé. Um, if you have some rosé fans coming over or some fans that like bubbles and rosé, this one's perfect combination. We're at number five. The Dr. Lucen Riesling made this list. I'm gonna tell you, I didn't even know this was a grocery store pickup. I actually first ordered this from Total Wine. Um, we had it at the Black Girls Wine Retreat this year and I was really impressed with it. It was good. Uh, not a super sweet Riesling, but it is a delicious one, and I think this is a great transition wine. If you are currently drinking mostly sweet wines, this is a good one for you to try next. Next up on this list is the Louis Jadot, Louise Jadot Puy Fousse. Uh, that's how I think you pronounce it, but it's a delicious wine. It's a grocery store pickup, and if you put this one down on the table, your friends, who usually like Chardonnay, are gonna think, ooh, 
She's fancy. And I think you should try it. Next up on this list, popular grocery store favorite and a really good option if you're trying to make mimosas is the La Marca Prosecco Sparkling Wine. Now, I do enjoy Prosecco, more of a champagne lover though, um, but if you are looking to make some really tasty mimosas, please pick up the La Marca. La Marca is really good by itself, but it's something that it does magical when that OJ hits that definitely should make this at the top of your list for brunch. Last but not least for this list, I always pronounce this wrong, so if you have an idea, let me know. Um, but it's the freak, the Friesnit, the Friesnit, and it looks like it's Freaksnit, um, Cordon Negro Brut. Now listen, this uh, sparkling wine is actually really, really tasty, and I think if you have the girls over and you guys are celebrating something, this is a good bottle to pick up to help celebrate a special moment. Now, I do have some big girl bottles that I would actually suggest, but if you're looking for a quick grocery store pickup because you don't have time to run across town to the wine store, this is a good one. So, I'll make sure that we include the correct spelling and everything for all of these wines below, oh, I'm sorry, in here on the video somewhere, um, so that you can see it and you can make sure that you pick it up. If you enjoyed this grocery store haul, then I'm so glad. Let me know in the comments what wines you think you're interested in trying right now and are gonna go pick up as soon as you get done. And if you have any grocery store favorites, share them with me so I can try them. Because of course, we're gonna have to do another haul in 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss another episode to sip with me. Cheers. Damn. <laughs> are we ready now? Yeah, now we are. Of course. Where'd the bottle go? Oh, I need that bottle. It's in this part of the video. <laughs>